Hey, Amazon sellers, are you looking to leverage Amazon PPC bulk operations 2.0 to streamline your Amazon product launches by creating a lot of campaigns in just one click of a button? In this video, I will show you exactly how to create a campaign using bulk operations. My name is Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the founder of Seller Metrics and Amazon PPC agency. And if you like content such as this, where we geek out on anything Amazon FBA, please subscribe to this channel. Okay, so Amazon bulk, uh, bulk operations 2.0, it does look a little bit complicated, but if you actually follow an instruction, it becomes straightforward. A few things of note with Amazon bulk operations, you could basically just go to the bulk operation screen and look at the instructions on how to actually create an Amazon PPC campaign using the bulk files. The instructions are uh, under the link, visit the bulk sheets uh, portal. You would just go to it and follow the instructions. And the instruction here, we can create campaign using the bulk operations, and that would be create uh, campaigns. And let's just say in our example, we want to create sponsored products campaign, which you know most of the time where we want to scale up our ads is our advertising type of choice. Okay, so uh, it's gonna give you how to actually create the entire structure. Um, if you actually scroll to the middle over here, uh, yeah, right here. So you can see like the fields that are required and the input that are required. Few things of note to prevent errors is that two things. You need to make sure that on the operations field, you need to add the create value. And also you can see like the entities, right? They're actually in a certain order and you need to follow that order when you create the rows in your spreadsheet. If you fail to do that, you'll get an error automatically. So the entity um, order as is shown here, it would be first the campaign. And then uh, the second entity that you don't see here is the bid adjustment. So let's just say your bid adjustment is not fixed, but let's just say up and down and you want a campaign placement, top of search 20%, then that is the next entity. And I will show you how that is done. And I'll show you how to create the sheet together. The third entity uh, in the order would be ad groups. The fourth would be um, product ad, basically the SKU that you're advertising for. Lastly, the last rows that you're gonna create in your bulk sheet will be the keywords. Right, that would be your last row that you will create. And uh, for keywords, you probably could add like, I don't know, maybe like around up to 100 rows for the keyword um, if you're actually bidding, bidding on that many uh, keyword and also match types. And also on the keywords, you could see that um, the, row, the column keyword text and also the match type, this is where you add your keyword and also the match type, also the corresponding bid. Okay, so let's get to creating a spreadsheet. Um, the product that I want to advertise for, um, let's just uh, let's actually find SKUs for that. Uh, let's go to my uh, campaign manager. So I'm selling a baby mount, and uh, the SKU that I want to advertise for is this one right here. So this is the SKU, right? So let's uh, begin the creation of our bulk sheet to create. Number one, uh, advertising for this SKU. Number two, it's gonna be a manual campaign. Number three, it's gonna be a keyword targeting campaign. And number four, it's gonna have bid adjustments where top of search will get a 20% uh, increase in bid placement. Okay, so let's just create a spreadsheet, new spreadsheet right here. And then uh, let's look at, uh, you see on this, on the instructions, the field that is required. So all we need to do, right, not to reinvent the wheel is basically more or less just copy all the fields that is expressed on the instructions, right? Uh, let's just see if we could actually just call all this, pull all this out, and then just plunk it into the spreadsheet over here. And then all we have to do is just follow the instructions. Okay, the product. So let's start off with the product. So the product is basically the Amazon ad type, and that would be sponsored product. What's the first entity? The first entity that you want to create is campaign. Also, very important to remember is the operations. The operation is to create. We're looking to create a campaign here. Uh, and then next is the campaign ID. So, the cam so when you're creating um, Amazon PPC campaign, right? Uh, the ID is basically the same as the name. So um, I'm gonna give it, let's just say, um, create, okay, I'm just gonna get manual campaigns. And then uh, for the campaign name, you're just gonna add the same. Um, and then for the ad groups, uh, for, so if you can see under campaigns, uh, this is not a required field, so just keep that blank. 
but the required field for campaign would be a start date. So today is March 7th, 2020. So uh, I think uh, the, the format would be something like this. End date, you could leave as blank if you want it, uh, the campaign to continue. The state enabled. And uh, one thing about creating campaigns on a state is that there's only one state. You just put state and uh, that covers basically all the, all the levels, uh, basically campaign keywords and also ad group. Daily budget, that is like something that you want to ask, like $5. You could leave basically the rest blank until we get to bid strategies. So remember in the Amazon bid strategies, there's like three options. Uh, there is a dynamic bid uh, down only, dynamic bid uh, up and down, and uh, fixed uh, bid. If you're using fixed bid, you don't need to do campaign placement, but let's just say, uh, you know, my, my bid strategy is down only. The next thing I want to add in my uh, campaign structure would, uh, if you actually go to uh, the campaign settings, we could actually use bulk operation to adjust these campaign settings right here. So what I would do is again, I would copy this three, this four, um, actually no, I would copy this um, row right here, sponsored products, but instead of entity, now I am going to put bid adjustments. And then we're gonna put, also put creates, copy, the campaign ID, which is the campaign name. Um, also, they're going to put state enabled. Uh, but in this case, uh, you're going to skip all the way at the end, and then you are going to copy the bidding strategies here, and then you're going to put a uh, placement. So the so the top of the search placement uh, value would be this, would be placement top. The instructions on how exactly to do like the placement, um, I think you can actually just like find it here um, on the actual instructions. I will link the um, I will link the URL to the instruction to create bulk operate to create the Amazon PPC campaign via bulk operations on the link below. So you can also check out what I'm seeing. So uh, let's go with and then the percentage. Uh, let's go with uh, twenty percent for top of search and uh, for the rest the product page placement. Basically, just copy the exact same data, but for the placement value, instead of placement top, you are going to put placement product page. And uh, I'm just going to put zero, right? So no extra percentage for um, the product page placement. Okay, the next thing that you're going to do, you're going to add the ad groups. So the ad groups, uh, you're going to copy, um, again, the products. The products is going to be the same for all the rows. And then for the entity, you can put ad group, create, and then uh, the campaign, you're gonna copy the same exact one from the previous, but in this case, the ad groups, right? You're gonna actually add like an um, ad group name in this case. So the ad group names, so again, when you're creating a campaign, the IDs are uh, for ad groups and campaign are basically the name. So what shall we name our ad group? So I'm just gonna put like um, create manual campaign ad groups uh, prefix, right? Make it simpler uh, so and then state enabled so that's the next um, that's the next required field for ad groups and then um, you're gonna look into the ad group bid right here default bid and put the default bid for that for the ad group uh, so I'm gonna put like 50 cents and uh, that's basically it for the ad groups uh, and then uh, for the next um, entity that you're gonna create would be the product ad so um, again I'm gonna put the same um, Sponsor products for uh, product, and then uh, this time I'm gonna put product ad entity, and I'm gonna put create. You're gonna copy all the information from above, which is the ad group, right, all the way up to here. And uh, the only thing that is different uh, with um, ad group is that under the SKU column. You need to fill out the actual SKU that you're trying to advertising advertise for. As I mentioned earlier, uh, this is um, the product that I am advertising for is this SKU right here. So I'm gonna plunk it down onto this particular column. And finally, the last entity that you will create will be the keywords. So the great thing about bulk, bulk operations that is that you could create like a whole bunch of keywords just by adding a row. So let's just say for, for the sake of simple example, I'm just gonna create two keywords. Uh, so again, this, and then um, the actual entity for keywords will be keywords, keyword, not plural, create. You're gonna go into copy uh, the campaign name and ad group from above. And the key thing that you need to really add 
for the keywords is basically the bid, the keyword itself, and the match type. So let's just say uh, one of the keyword match type I want to have. So let's just say the bid uh, for the keyword I want a dollar twenty five cents, and the keyword would be baby monitor mount, and um, my match type would be exact. And then uh, let's just say like create another one right here. Right. Um, so instead of like dollars, I'm gonna put like say eighty cents, and then it's going to be say um, I'm gonna put like phrase and um, I don't know maybe corner monitor mounts. Voila. So basically, I think that more or less completes the bulk the the bulk sheet for you to create a campaign, a manual campaign. Um, so if you are looking to create multiple ad groups in the campaign, you could do so by uh, adding multiple ad group entity and then basically making sure that if you want particular um, keywords or product targeting to go into these specific ad groups, making make sure that under the campaign and ad group ID, that mirrors to what ad group that you want to the keyword to be uh, placed into. Okay, so let's try uploading this. Okay, so uh, the campaign name would be create manual campaigns and then with it, we have one ad group here. And then within that, we have two uh, keywords. Okay, um, so I just want to um, go back to the spreadsheet and uh, let you know that I've uh, left out a key information and that is the targeting type. And uh, the targeting type, uh, so basically that's auto or manual. So for us, we're gonna do manual right here. So now I'm, I'm gonna try uploading it again. Okay, so once you uh, finish the uh, uh, template uh, right here, uh, so I make sure that my state is enabled across the board. Uh, I would upload the spreadsheet. And uh, we're going to refresh it. Oh, there we go. Uh, complete uh, all seven rows successful. And if I were to like go to my campaign manager, I see like the campaign uh, that I have recently just created that reflects the spreadsheet, the bulk sheet that I have created. So just like that one click of a button, I was able to create a manual campaign with an ad group and two keywords, as well as the bid, uh, the campaign settings. Okay, so, um, you know, I know I made it uh, kind of look easy. Um, you know, sometimes you'll run into these little bits of errors. Um, you know, there's a lot of fields. So it, once you actually have a successful upload, you'll, you want to like save that template and use it all over again. Uh, so anyways, I hope you took away uh, a lot of good information here to kind of help you save time by using the bulk operations uh, upload. I also made a video on how you could actually update campaigns, keyword bids uh, using the bulk upload as well. So you could check it out in the video uh, below that I would link to. Okay, so in this video, I hope you uh, take away a lot of good uh, nuggets for you to um, streamline your Amazon PPC and allow you to uh, create campaigns extremely quick using the bulk upload. Again, it's gonna be difficult the first two times, but once you get a hang of it, we'll save you loads of time down the low for future product launches or create multiple campaigns of the same product that you are currently selling. And if you are an Amazon seller and want to um, grow your business by Amazon PPC, schedule a call with me on the link below. And until the next video, happy selling.